You ready, Jamie? <laughs> Saturday morning cartoons with Jake and Jamie. Enjoy the show. <laughs> Good morning, good morning. Jamie, I haven't seen you all day. <laughs> Go ahead and introduce yourself, buddy, while I put on some gloves and safety equipment. Okay? Okay. How you doing, everybody? Good to see you again. <laughs> it's your third time you see me today. <laughs> Dude, you're, all you're all dusty as hell. <laughs> I'm covered. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, you can find me on the socials at JP Woodwork, on the YouTubes and the Instagrams. Uh, this Saturday Morning Cartoons is brought to you in part by the Virtual Craft Festival. Um, yeah, we're in for a hell of a show. Oh, hey. What, what, uh, what shirt you got on, dude? I'm wearing the Virtual Craft Festival shirt. Hey, I just wanted to show you what a clean shirt looked like. <laughs> it, uh, it this, is a, this is a state <laughs> that I'm in at the moment. <laughs> Ignore the rolls. Hey. Part of the charm, man. Part of the charm. Okay. Mr. So, Chris Caliendo's in. How you doing, Chris? So we're going to go ahead. Out. The camera was on me, wasn't it? Hey, it's, it, was, it was okay. <laughs> no, sorry, that is it. <laughs> <laughs> that was okay. First first thing up, let's do some of this action. Um, Y'all remember the bowl we just auctioned off, uh, raffled off for $3,700-ish? We're making Jamie one just like that today. And yeah. I, I'm going to, we're going to take it over to, um, matter of fact, I just saw Chris Caliendo in the, in the chat. Chris is going to ship this to Jamie here in a little bit. He's going to, he's going to find out. <laughs> so it's, that's going to be just like this. Yeah. Like central. This is stabilized walnut. The top and bottom are, and then the, the centers is stabilized maple burl. Should be pretty cool. And, so that's already been in the oven. It's heated up, ready to go. By the time we pour, it'll be right temperature. This is the thingy that Joey Stillblade made us. By the way, Jamie's going to announce him as our shout-out here in a minute. Um, so the colors are ready. I've already got the colors in there. O Okinawa blue, um, Azora blue, Nocom blue, and then Amatrasu silver with Galactic Ghost blue in the silver, too. So those are the four colors going to be 1500 grams of resin and i'm going to start mixing that now and then we're going to kind of get our stuff together and settle yeah. down right Jamie? You, you get your uh you get uh you get a mix in and uh dibbing and dabbing and i'll yeah, do yeah, a yeah. bit of household stuff there you go so as we just saw mr chris caliendo was out in the chat from easy wood tools uh, up, easy wood tools have been kind enough to let Jake and myself not only do some turning on their booth at Easy uh, at Easy with Tools at Maker Central, <laughs> but they have also been kind enough to let us do a Saturday morning cartoons show from the booth as well. So put some uh, put some hearts out in the chat for the guys over at Easy with Tools. So they're awesome ah, people, put and some we flex, love them. Put some flex arms, man. Those are men, man. They need some. Yeah, flex they're arms. manly men. Yeah. Uh, secondly, um, as Jake said, uh, <laughs> we do, a, we do a shout out, um, every week and today is no exception. And uh, today's shout out is Mr. Joey over at Steelblade Woodworks. Fantastic guy. He often gets, uh, abused in the chat by Ashley a lot. Oh, yeah. Um, and by a few other people as well. So, um, <laughs> but today's, uh, the day where we give, uh, Joey some love. And uh, he deserves it. He's a, he's good people with Joey. Uh, yeah. One of the security guards for Saturday morning cartoons. Um, so yeah, he's uh, he's good people. So Joey still yeah. blade works. Links to his uh, channel uh, down in the description. Yep. So first live okay. show, man. It's exciting. First live show for him. Yeah. He's uh, Joey is on tonight at. Um, 10 p.m. UK time, or five, it will five. be five. Uh, no, it will be uh, six to seven Eastern, or five to six Central. 
that's my that's our time yeah yeah uh there was a question there from mr john hayes he says had a question okay. uh, is there a way to control the heat temperatures of the resin some products that are covered melt due to the heat from the resin well um some of them are gonna get hot the stuff that i use this is alumilite clear slow and it has a a 12 minute suggested working time and we go by temperature if you're on here we're going to pour this at about 105 and that's going to promote color separation so we're going to have some some more swirls after this one and before the other one i'll show you an, a good example of swirling and then there's a, a, a link to that video that i put out last week down in the description below too so mm -hmm. and we do that we do that every week we wait till a certain temperature we use this stuff um pretty much every week so that everybody's familiar with it but we just know what it's going to do um and 105 we pour it and we get it in the pressure pot and um everything turns out okay there's other things there's other like liquid diamonds i've had that in cups before like the the leftovers in cups and it just it'll melt the cup mm -hmm. so just know what you're using and and uh be familiar uh this makes a big difference with temperature in, in the shop like i have a temperature gun right here it is 68.9 degrees in here i left it one tenth low for you jamie so you can keep it classy uh yeah. you're all hot mate you're all hot yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Peter brown yeah. says that 12 minute open time makes my heart race <laughs> <laughs> i have some of the regular clear that has six and i'm, I'm freaking out <laughs> i can't do ouch that. ouch yeah. uh we have the awesome uh extra super awesome actually i should say jackie thompson out in the chat jackie. uh if you haven't been following along with jake's social media the progress jackie's been making with her turning i suggest you go and check that out she's been doing fantastic After. for uh, a beginner wood turner yeah. so uh yeah put some uh, put some hearts in the chat for jackie she's doing a fantastic job after this project we'll show you the one we made last week and i'll show you what jackie finished yesterday and i'll get a i'll edit that video tomorrow or monday and uh should be and it's like a we jackie and i did a beginner video before and it's like me saying hey this is what she's gonna do and then she does it and this is gonna be more like that i think everybody liked that so um jackie did it she's super proud of it um and it was for connie so connie's I already gave connie a sneak peek of it so she's super happy with it too so everybody's happy everybody wins um amy has a question uh she says how long does it go in the pressure pot for i know it takes a week to cure but how long do, uh, how long in for in in, uh, in the pot two hours two to four hours they say and uh i usually about two hours if it's something really small i'll leave it in there longer but for the stuff that we do on the show two hours is plenty uh jackie says she feels special bless your heart she wearing her helmet <laughs> <laughs> let's uh let's go and read out some uh some people on the that's in the channel i'm not gonna go all the way back because we will uh we'll lose out on some of the the newbie chat comments yeah. otherwise we have michelle higgins we have cindy keo we have mr chris cute we have harry malika we have Pamela macgyver and nita ball we have chris schwinn Oh. Uh, we have Shane Hurst. We have uh, Jennifer's Crafting Creations. We have Barney Nazi 69. Hello, Barney. 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 Uh, we have Martin Brees. We have Ashley. Hope uh, you're enjoying New York City at the moment. Hope so. Uh, we have uh, Kazandor Phil. We have Mr. John Hayes. Hello, we have Mr. Yo. Joey Sturgeon. Uh, we have Michael McEwen. We have Broken Branch Woodshop. What's up? We yo? have Jenny Jen Jen. Ooh, we yeah. have uh, Amy DeAngelis. We have Given Chances Farm, which is Brittany. Uh, Hello. We have Graham Taylor, Josh Morris. We have Quentin, which is Deadwood uh, Casting and Turning. <laughs> um, let's have a quick look at this down here a minute. Um, Chris. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah. uh, I did say that Chris was in, but you know, I had to say it that way. Um, who else have we got in? And, uh, 
Right, that's all. Well, I've used all of them yeah. now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's done. That's Mr. done. Mr. Uh, Mr. Matt Wackley's in. <laughs> Uh, we man. have Canny Canny's in. Canny uh, Canny's going to find out now. You cheeky girl. You cheeky girl. You cheeky girl. Um, we have uh, Ashley's in again. Uh, we have Shane Hurst. We have Harry Mullica. Uh We have Hodge Rogers Woodworks in. Uh, we have Mr. Martin Brees with Rain, Sleet and Snow. We have Pamela MacGyver. Um Good. We have Wood Turning Art by Habib Assad in. Uh, Jenny Jen, uh, Mr. Peter Brown. What's up? Uh, right. If you don't know who Peter Brown is, where have you been? Right. Uh, uh, he's one of the, the OGs of resin. He did me a favor. I don't even think he knows it. We can tell a story in a minute after you get it done. All right. Okay. 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 Uh, let's keep going. <laughs> I think my mouse needs some new batteries. Uh, Double click. Double Mr. click. Uh, John Hayes is in. Uh, Anita Ball. Good turn. Daily Blair. Wayne Hillman. Uh, Larry Blair. Uh, hey. Genesis Crafting Creations. Harry Malika. Uh, Leah Gwynn has got a question. Question, question. Uh, why do you leave it so longer? For, why do you leave it longer for smaller amounts? Because there's less of a chemical reaction. And these bigger amounts, there's more of a chemical reaction, and it's gonna it's gonna solidify faster, and then uh, th therefore keeping the bubbles condensed. So if you have something okay. real small, you're, it's gonna it's it takes it longer for that chemical reaction to to solidify. So it's just safer to leave it in there longer. Okay, uh, we have Hoyt Sunday out there. John Hayes, Copper Al Wood turning. Uh, up, Mark McEwen, AG K's out there. Uh, someone over on Facebook called Craig Culp uh, who also has a question. Uh, what is the pressure on the pressure pot? Uh, is it the same on each batch? Yeah, I have it set. I have the regulator set to 60 or 65, somewhere around there, and it's the same all the time. Whether it's a big one or a big, uh, big cast or small cast, it's the same. Okay. We have uh, Hans Olaf Peterson. What's up, Hans? That is as high from Norway. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm at the bottom now, and Mr. John Hayes has a question. Um, Ooh. he says, "Does the uh, does the gauge change uh, pressure change depending on the size of the product in the pot?" Not that I've, I'm sure because it, it's going to have more of a temperature or whatever. The the bigger it is, but it's not enough to go over. It's not enough to to. Uh, Make it dangerous for whatever, and I do have uh, pop off valves on the on mm -hmm. the pressure pots too. So, um, and there's a uh, game of daddy's in. He says hello from UK. It sounds like hello. we've got a couple of new names there. So We're if already... this is your uh, first time into the Saturday morning cartoons, just just let everybody out in the chat know and uh, welcome you with uh, open arms and uh, so... good, they're good people out in that chat. And Mr. Wayne will turn us back. We're about. We're almost at 90 degrees, so this is almost ready to go. This is going to be cool. And um, obviously, we fit it. It fits right in this bucket, so that's pretty cool. And then I put, I already put motor release on the inside of this bucket, and I put motor release on the outside of these because these are going to go in there like that to save on resin. We're going to pour okay. it first and then put that down there. You be nice, Jamie. Be nice. Oh well, oh good, well. We're having a good day, man. Uh, Brad R is in. Uh, and Pamela MacGyver. What's up, Brad? Pamela. Uh, Brad R is in. And he says, oh, "I skipped him." He said, "I feel, feel so unloved." Do you know what? Oh my goodness! I'm, I'm going to go above and beyond just for you, Brad. Look, I'll even put your <laughs> name up on screen. Oh my goodness! There you go. How's that? Attention, attention, Brad. Is attention. Here. <laughs> Thanks no, for showing actually, up, Brad. I want, to go, I want to go even further. I want to stand up and do it. At attention. Stand there you at go. attention. There you, there you go. I'm standing up and I'm doing it for you, Brad. All right. <laughs> Just for you, buddy. Just for you. There you go. Uh, Travis Joe Franklin says, Hey, Jake, what's up, brother? What's going on, man? You all right? We're just playing with resin. Uh, Kevin Carpenter says, who are you guys? I have no idea. We don't know. We're the cartoon dudes, man. We're the cartoon dudes. We're, we're almost at 100, so 
Um, we're almost there. It's almost time to start dumping this stuff. Walt Disney wished he has better characters than us. By God. By golly. <laughs> uh, John Hay says, uh, have you had different results with different brands of pots? No. Pre- air pressure is going to be air pressure, man. I don't think the... I, d- I like the California Air Tools pots, and there's other pots that have the same kind of latching mechanisms and stuff like that. Um, and I like that. It's uh, pretty convenient. But as far as like different results, we're at 102 right now. So I'm going to go ahead and start pouring this. And I'm going to do half, 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 if that makes any sense. You guys will see what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to pour. I'm just going to, I'm going to put a big old popsicle stick in like, so, and I'll pour about half of that. So we have uh, George is in. He's got uh, he's got a lot of numbers before his name. Uh, I'm assuming they mean something. Um, I'm not sure, but we're just going to call him George. George. Um, he says, uh, hi, Jake and Jamie and everyone else. What's up? I'm guessing it could be a military number. Um, I, I don't think it would be his date of birth. Hmm. That's a lot of numbers. Otherwise, I don't think it'd be born yet if it was if it was that that date. <laughs> so we'll go back. Uh, Doug Miller at Woodspun Round is also in as well. What's up? And Dale Slaughter. I don't think I've missed anybody yet. Michael McEwen's in as well. Did I say that? Yeah, John Michael's from Jigsy Shed's in. What's up? Ooh, I'm not, I don't know which order I did it, but it, we can't mess this up. I don't think, Jamie. No, nah, I don't think I'm not with them colours. Pete from Twisted Trees has asked a question. Do oh, yeah. you use the Acme Co pressure pot? <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. No, but we, we should. Yeah, we've been we use it when the roadrunner and the coyote are <laughs> running around here. <laughs> Ashley says those colours are beautiful. You know, I like it, Ashley. You like that? You like that? I'm and like Scott, it. the blue light turner, is in. And Scott will be on a bit Ooh. later on at uh, 7 o'clock UK time, which is 2 p.m. Uh, Central. And if you're new to the show, I spill stuff a lot. And I'm not embarrassed. I'm man enough to admit it. Okay, so we have these cups right here. They're going to fit right in the middle of this. Tim the uh, from the Urban Forge says uh, that's where I get my anvils. <laughs> right. Uh, Jen Smith uh, has given a virtual hug, but she's also helped me out of a, a comment that I missed. All righty. What she does around here. Um, she says uh, if it's it's, it's, it's it's from uh, is it Arnie or oh no Amy sorry. So this is a question from Amy. Um. Uh, if it's a thin pour, do you uh, does it need a pressure pot? Aluminum like clear so says it it requires it, but there's other. If you're gonna do a thin pour, like uh, you're gonna make ribbons or or a coat or something, then the stuff we're using right now is not the right stuff, and you can just pop the bubbles. If you use other stuff, you just pop the bubbles with a torch or heat gun. And that's how you would do that. The Lumilite like Clear Slow is pretty specific about using a pressure pot. But with that being said, I have coated some wood, like little pieces, like when we did the Dancy Bearded thing, Jamie, that inlay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I coated, I coated that wood, and I didn't put it in a pressure pot. I just kind of painted it on there, and, and I used the heat gun to pop the bubbles. Pop the bubble. And it, it did work, but we were covering it up also. Uh, Mr. Peter Brown said um, that's a pretty cool mold setup we got there. Speaking of uh, molds, if anyone's interested <laughs> Thanks, in, uh, if anyone's interested in pen molds, uh, I don't know if you if you are you selling the bottle stopper molds yet, Jake? Yeah, I have a couple in stock. Yeah, uh, if you're interested in bottle stopper molds or uh, pen blank molds, you go to Northside Custom Crafts. Jake has them for sale. They're high quality molds uh, using silk made out of silicon. I, grew I, don't myself. Wanna, I, don't, I don't know if you've got any there you want to quickly show, Jake. Hold on one. Let me get the this cleaned up, and then I'll show a few things, and then we'll go for the second one. But uh, remind right, okay. me. I'm going to go get the wood out of the oven real quick. 
All right, okay. I'll quickly play that clip then while you're, uh, oh. while you're running away. Oh. Run, Forrest! Run away! Hurry! Oh, no. I just dropped everything he, he everywhere. He dropped something. Yeah, Sat the juggler. <laughs> uh, hey. Question from John. With the colours you're using, can you create colours or do they just get muddy? You can you can mix the mica powders to make different colours. You just have to wait for them to get to a certain temperature so they get, they're a little bit thick. Yeah? Right, right, yeah. You just... Um, it's way better just to use the. I mean, it's harder to it's harder to predict what you're gonna get. But mm -hmm. let me clean this up real quick. I uh, had this, just a quick cool. little thing. I had this UV resin to that. I thought I was being clever because I'm gonna put that in the mold like that. But the heat of the oven, we found out that doesn't work. So we're winging it. We're gonna wing it. So let me clean it. this. Let me clean this up real quick, guys. Okay. Uh, Broken Branch has got a question for you. Okay. He says, uh, I've just got my stabilizers set up in the mail. Uh, are you stabilizing the wood for these kinds of projects? Yes. Every, everything that I put in here is stabilized stuff. And if, and if you have some maybe harder wood that you don't need, to, most of the stuff is burls. So that's the biggest reason, but you need to have it dry. And if you don't stabilize it, you need to coat it. <laughs> Probably be the best thing. What are you talking about? Peter Brown says, hot fresh wood in the oven like Grandma used to do it. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Let me show you a couple things what we were talking about earlier. Let me show a, <clears throat> let me show a couple molds that you were talking about, Jamie. Good call. Good call. Good call. Huey's out there. Uh, keep it classy, Shug. Yeah. So we have, to, we have to do it every time we Huey. Yeah, here we go. I'll show these real quick. This this one fits in a Harbor Freight mold or a pressure pot, and I have this one with the singles, and then I have them with the it's a block mold also. And this is like this is um, there's a fill line at an inch on this, and then there's a quarter inch above that, so you're not spilling stuff everywhere. And they're all designed like that. And here's one that fits in the five gallon pressure pot and I have a block mold one like this too it's it, it, you can get like 14 out of it and then here's the one for the bottle stopper blanks and they're all made to where that you're not going to spill stuff everywhere <clears throat> it's just kind of nice and pretty much everything everything I found wrong with stuff on the market I fixed it all and, and made my own so there you go yeah. so uh, radar is out there and John Hayes is out there we were going to show the thing that uh, here's the color separation. Yeah. What well, just just real just real quick, Jake. Uh, we're on 91 pe 93 people watching. Ooh. If we get to another seven people watching over on YouTube, there's a nice little some some to give away. Yeah, we guess I got something for you. By golly, yep, yeah. Let me check. Yeah, I do have I do have another one for something for you. Yeah, this is color separation right here. And this video was out last week. It, it's in the description below. I think it's one of my better edited videos. This is going to Chris Schwind. It's one of the super chat blanks. Bud vase. Super cool. And then Jackie, 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 Jackie. Miss Jackie did this. This is one of her first, it's her first bigger thing. Another bud vase. Because we were like, hey, uh, let's learn how to do stuff. But we'll leave Halloween for another day. So another bud vase. And this is Connie's. If you couldn't mm -hmm. imagine, she got the purple one. Got the purple it's, one, yeah. It turned out. It turned out nice. So, look at that. Ooh. They call that chatoyance. They're chatoyance. <laughs> uh, there's a thing from uh, from Gamer Dad. He says, uh, "I made a pen blank the other day with polyurethane resin and mica powder. The mm -hmm. blank is cured, but it seems to be uh, bleeding, stroke sweating." Uh, and an oily residue. Any ideas why? Mix, the mix, the um, probably maybe didn't measure it right. It, it, normally, it goes back to the directions on the labels, man. You gotta measure it right, um, and then you need to mix it well. And that's a, that's 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 where it starts mm -hmm. most of the time. 
So, what we got now, Jamie Pie? We're gonna do. This is a mold from Matt Wackerly. It's a, a six-inch mold. It's deep, deep. Uh, it's deep, and uh, so we're gonna do that. This, this right here. I'm just gonna put it down there with my hand, and we're gonna get what we get because this is a live show, and sometimes we mess stuff up. But it's still gonna be cool. I'll push it down with this stick anyway. But this has been in the oven. It's stabilized all that stuff that we talk about. Yeah. And then we're going to do 12 colors, right, Jamie Pie? Yes, mate. Yeah. So uh, here, five more people for that little extra sum sum giveaway. Don't forget, show your friends, show your family, show your enemies if you like. I already got the cups in here. It'll be 12 color. Look at that beautiful thing. Uh, Aurora Ring says, uh, what temperature do you wait to pour for good separation? 105-ish? 105. 105. So we'll leave those there. Um, we need some. We need some colors, Jamie. We need some colors. We need some buddy. colors, do we? Yeah. All right. So the first color is uh, violence violet from Scott. <laughs> okay, I just put these up there. So here it is. Got it. Thank you, Scott. Then we have mint from Wayne. And I actually have a mint now. One of the new colors I got from last last week's Super Chat stuff was I got a couple of greens, but six new purples. Mint. Thank you, Wayne. Then we have... Uh, oh. <laughs> Let me just quickly refer to uh, Joey's picture because uh, <laughs> uh, Michael McPewing picked uh, 12 karat gold. Okay, coffee, I, wrote, coffee. I wrote Michael's name down, but I didn't write down the color. <laughs> we'll split the difference and give him a 10 carat. How about that? <laughs> 10 carat gold, Michael. Thank you. Then we have uh, Rainbow Violet from Chris Cute. Okay, we have that right here. Thank you, Chris. Then we have Imperial Green by Chris Schwing. Imperial. Caraman says, checking in from my hospital bed. Pancreat uh, oh, pancreatic sucks. Oh, get, get well. well soon. Get well, sweetheart. Yeah, definitely. Get well soon. Yeah. Thank you, Chris, for that color. Imperial Jade. I got gotcha. you. Uh, then we have Gold from Quentin. Gold? Hey, He's such a good sport. Krista Gold. I don't Quentin's think we've used people. that. Quentin's I don't think we've people. used it. Yeah, he is. Krista Gold. Thank you, Quentin. Let's, let's get some hearts out there for Karen and wish her all yeah. the best. There you go. A bunch of hearts. All different colors. Uh, then we've got Any Red from Mr. Joey Sturgeon. Look at Joey Sturgeon. Let's and give him Mark, some rusty. Mark Shorten is out there as well. Rusty. Rusty for Joey. Thank you, Joey. Then we have... Uh, Emerald green from Leela. Leela. Emerald. Leela. Or Leah. Yeah. Emerald green. I just got emerald green because people asked for it and I didn't have it. And I was just making up colors and saying it was emerald. I really have it now. No, Thank you, Leah. <laughs> then we got uh, silver from Anita. Silver will do the amateur. Thank you, Anita. Then we have kinky yellow from Cindy. Oh, Cindy is all the way back. People picking kinky yellow. Thank you, Cindy. Then we have uh, Jenny, Jen, Jen. Oh, uh, we don't even have to say it. Okinawa blue for Jen. Thank you, Jen. <laughs> and then we have Connie, Connie. Purple, purple. She wants purple with sparkles probably, right? Oh, she actually just specified purple this time. Okay. Periwinkle purple. That's a new one. That's a new one. Thank you, Connie, Connie, Connie. That's it, mate. That's it. That's it. By golly. All right. Uh, John Hayes says, uh, to create the depth, can you have colors of choice put in the pot, then add more colors and put back in the pot? Mm -hmm. You just wait till you know it's going to be. I think with this stuff, about I've heard of other people doing. I've never done it. But there's people that do multiple layers like that, and, you, and they do it to where you can't tell. There's no line or no witness line or whatever, and that's like around 30 minutes. But you better be fast, and um, don't blame me if it go, if it goes wrong. <laughs> There's a reason why I don't do it. There's four more people to a hundred. 
for a little extra sum sum for a little giveaway there we go uh so i've just seen jen uh jenny jen jen explaining the super chat blank so for people that are here that do not understand what the super chat blank is so what we do on saturday morning cartoons is we do a thing like we just said called the super chat blank and what the entails with that is is uh jake does a 12 color blank every single week crazy i know uh but <laughs> so far they all they've all turned out fantastic um and uh, people that super chat have a chance to pick the color um if you super chat after that you get put into a giveaway along with the people that have got to pick the colors and you have a chance to win that blank mm -hmm. okay so basically the super chat is paying for the resin and it's so you, you don't earn anything from it it's you, you basically what you pay you super chatting to win a blank that you paid for essentially yeah kind yeah. of thing well, everyone's paid for it helps <laughs> It helps. You know? Yeah, it helps. I mean, J Jake, Jake kind of eats the shipping. Yeah, you well, know? it all it all works out. We are all. I mean, if it wasn't worth it to me to do it in one way or another, like just making me feel good that we can do it, it's still worth. It's worth it. So, <laughs> Peter, Peter's out there worried about uh, the working time. We're going to do that, and we're going to do twelve colors. And the story about Peter is. When oh, um, yeah. Maker Central came around last time, I think. Oh, Connie did. Connie did want sparkles. She's gonna get sparkles, by golly. Okay. Um, How so anyway, um, for whatever reason, uh, Peter couldn't go to. He he canceled. So then they, somebody heard about me, or somebody put my name in somebody's ear, and I ended up on the panel that he was supposed to be on. So, although I wanted to meet Peter, I got to take his place somehow. <laughs> I fake, I faked Hashtag it till I me, fake it till you make it, man. <laughs> Hashtag my fault. <laughs> hey, we had a good time too. Yeah, uh, I've got you, Jane. I've got it written down. Uh, uh, Karen and Martin did a ten pound super chat, but and they didn't add a color. Awesome. Um, all of, all of the colors were picked at that point. Um, Jenny, Jen, Jen. So the thing is for, and we said something about it last week, and obviously we couldn't do it this week because we only have time for two projects. So what we're going to start doing, and we'll see if that works, is we're going to do a project whether it's pin blanks or, or a, a turn and blank or whatever, mm -hmm. and then we're going to do two super chat blanks so everybody will get to pick a color. And then if there's if there's some after that, so I'll do two rounds of this. So then if there's people super chatting after that, they just get in the, they'll get in the giveaways just like it is now. Got the girls. There's a lot of stuff SMC girls super chats going on at the moment. Yeah. Those girls is it going to be another, is it going to be another uh, purple <laughs> rain again? <laughs> Last week. Uh, I, I just had a, a question out there. Let me see if I scroll, scroll back up from Craig's cult. Ooh. Jamie, what uh, lathe uh, do you use, the brand, uh, and what do you recommend for a first lathe? So the lathe I have is a Record Power Coronet Herald. Um, what I would recommend for a first lathe is, first of all, I would say, uh, ask yourself, what can you afford? Mm -hmm. um, and secondly, um, I would look on, um, I don't know what you if you've got like a Craigslist or a Facebook Marketplace or something like that, and just test the waters first. Um, but right off the bat, if I would say if you've got the money and you've already had experience at a turning club or something like that on a lathe and you're dead set in using lathe and doing wood turning um, and it's in your budget, I would definitely recommend the Coroner Herald. 100%. Yeah. It's nice. It's a lathe that we use at the uh, at, at a lot of events. Um it's yeah they're fantastic lathes some some people when turn it have pieces of resin come flying off don't they peter <laughs> here we go let's round two guys uh anita ball is giving you a ten dollar super chat just because anita there's, there's, a, there's a few super chats coming you girls 
you girls take care of us, that's for sure. And it is appreciated and, like, yeah. and noticed it and all that. Um, <coughs> I got those colors in last night, like the guy. He threw them from the street. <laughs> I, have, yeah. I have good male people around here. It's, it's, it's becoming a good game now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, they can throw far, man. I like, I like where Chris is. Mr. Caliendo's going with this. Peter, oh, you're always welcome on our booth. I like where he's going with that. Yeah. That, that, that'd be an honor to, uh, be an honor to turn with uh, Mr. Peter Brown. We could do like a ghost moment, couldn't we? Yeah. Uh, Jenny, hey, Jen, there's just there's a bit of awkward silence there. We could do a ghost moment. Yeah, yeah. No, right. no, no, no. No, well, he, what I was thinking he could do is he could come in. Since I took his place last time, he can just come up and say, I'm here, and I could just go, all right, I, I know my place. I'll just walk off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jenny's just reminded me of a question <laughs> from Mr. John Hayes. Uh says, when it comes to colors, I'm guessing by the amount you're adding, no colors are dominant. No, like I showed that – I showed that – um that blood vase I turned earlier and how, how swirled it is. It's exact. Uh, I, I say exact. It's pretty close to the same amount. And depending on where the blank's going to be big around. So there's going to be some colors you might not even see, but it's like part of the, uh, it's just part of the fun. You never, you don't know what you're going to get. You have no idea what we're going to get, but it, it so far, knock on wood, it's been great every time. There's a question from my watch, I believe is a new name, and I apologize if I butcher your last name. Uh, Chris Lembach um, says, if you mix two different colors of pigment powders together, does it make a different color? Example, red and blue equals purple. Yep. Yeah, you'll mix it together, and it'll, you just, I don't do it. I have, like, there's plenty of colors up here, and we do this live, so I don't have time to mess with it, but you can mess around with the colors, and and change color. Yellow and blue makes green and all that kind of stuff. You can do it. Martin Bree says, damn mail carriers. <laughs> <laughs> They're trash, man. <laughs> I don't think a day goes by where Jake doesn't send me a video of his security footage of some who just shut out baseball throwing a package <laughs> right across the plate. Here we go. Time to divvy this up. Um, I need more time. There's a lot more color, so I don't want to mix this for four or five minutes and then it let the temperature get up there. I won't have enough time to swirl it. So I mix for a couple minutes and then divvy this up as good as I can. Uh, Peter says, I'm really impressed uh, and how the colors don't uh, muddy together in that uh, bud vase, Jake. Hey, thanks. We... have I put out a video. I'm sorry, Peter Baron watching my videos. I put out a video on color separation with this stuff. And it's and I put out I'll show you after this is done if we have a few minutes. I have the blocks that I that I poured and I do it at like 75 or 80 degrees. And then I do it at 105 and the difference is amazing. And if I'll I'll sh I'll show it before we get out of here. I have two examples actually. Uh, uh, George, with all the numbers in front of his name, um, has given you ten dollars super chat, buddy. Thanks, George. Thanks, George. Welcome to the show. We appreciate it. We certainly do. We certainly yeah, we do. do. Yeah, we do. This keeps it keeps us going, keeps us motivated, keeps everybody happy. Like I said, next we, week we'll we, be we've doing. Dropped down to ten more people. Oh, seven people now to get that little extra sum sum. Yeah, let's hit a hundred, man. Girls, yeah, come on, girls. Show it your friends, show it your family, show it your enemies. Let's sure. give that, let's do that little extra little some some giveaway for the virtual craft festival, guys. Get your phone out and then get the phone that your girlfriend don't know about. <laughs> <laughs> Sign in on both of them, man. Let's give something away. You haven't given any hints. No, we've, got five, we've got five more people. No, I haven't given any hints about what we're going to give away. None at all. <laughs> I only have I one. Won't, I, won't, I, won't, I won't tell them what they're going to win. And whatever they're winning, I see you. I see you, Jamie. Whatever they're winning, 
I only have one left. The other one's mine. So if we have to dig into the the one that's mine, I guess I have to make some more. You know what I mean? Yeah. I have to get some more made. I'm not making them. Somebody, uh, a lady I've known for a long, long time, makes them for me. Ninety-nine, and one more. Get it, girls and guys. Hide that other phone, guys. One more. One more. Oh, three more now. Don't get in trouble. <laughs> Three more now. Got one more. No, three more. Three more left. So close. So close. <laughs> we haven't got that far, and then he's going to start pouring. Oh no! Get four it. more now. It's get dropping. It. Get it. It's, get, it's nah. going the wrong way. They'll get there. They'll get there. That face, man. Going the wrong way. We got four more left to go. Four more left to go. We're going to do a giveaway left. We got five more left to go. The burner phone, Harry says. <laughs> WBJCS Creation says, okay, I'm here. Well, we can start. Yeah. Shelly. Oh, one more left to go. One hey, more left to go. We're going to get it. It's happening. One more left to go. One more left to go. Oh, two left to go. Now go in the opposite direction again. Hey, somebody's messing with us. John from Jigsy Shed said, meant to be doing chores, but stuck here watching, but he gave you a two-pound super chat. Thank you, John. <laughs> so we need to, before we get to 100, we need to see who all's new out there, because yeah, that's uh, what we it's do, a right? few, uh, It's a few new names out there. That's Let's end Ashley crazy. So, uh, if you're <laughs> new to the chat, whereabouts are you from? Yeah, not your street address. Let's, just let's, the uh, big... not, not your street address. <laughs> uh, Brad, and sorry, and let's just let's just quickly stand up a minute. Sorry, hang on. Brad R said, uh, "Just uh, Brad R just said, just putting my name in a hat." <laughs> <laughs> Brad. One on one, buddy. One on one, right And Jamie, that look, uh, that beard is looking good. Hashtag beard envy. <laughs> oh, one oh one. Woohoo! <laughs> you never listen to me, dude. <laughs> uh, yeah. fifteen forty three, my time. Good job, good job, Jack Butt. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! We can do that extra, uh, extra little psalm psalm. Yeah. Jenny Jen says uh, Sacramento. Yeah. Jackie oh, likes to give away your stuff too. She told everybody that she uh, you hit it as well. Yeah. Jackie probably had three devices going Tara on. Tara Man is giving you a twenty dollars super chat. Holy says, uh, moly! For the entertainment while I'm stuck in this dang hospital bed, you oh, just get well soon, Karen. Get well soon, darling. Get well soon. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. You guys are awesome, man. Uh, <laughs> so, who's going to pick? Who's going to pick? Yeah, we're all already over 100. Who can we get to pick? Yeah. And I'll show you what it is here in a little bit after we get this going. i got a couple things to show, so I'm going to try to get her done. We should be. We should have plenty of time. Make sure all these micro powders are mixed up good. That's the main thing at this point right now. I wish I could. I wish I was ambidextrous. Yeah. Because my left hand's doing nothing right now. It could be stirring. Oh, I thought that meant you could uh, walk and walk around there and land. Sorry. Well, that's Jesus. That's fi amphibious. Amphibious. <laughs> What's wrong with you, man? What's wrong with you, Jamie? <laughs> I think my oh. parents have been asking that for a long time. They probably got a <laughs> list. They have a list that they think is they're like, here, this could be the problem. My mother had me tested. <laughs> <laughs> I was positive for everything. And so part of the thing is the temperature in the room. And then we divvied this up into smaller containers like I was talking about before. 
the smaller amounts are going to they're going to heat up a little bit slower than than if I kept it if I would have mixed it longer in that bigger amount then it would have we'd are we would probably already be ready to go but this is 93 degrees so I still have a little bit of time uh, William Stevens says like the laughter <laughs> and we, we yeah. like to make you laugh there we try sometimes we strike out <laughs> Sometimes I tell jokes um, and Jamie don't even laugh. Sometimes I tell jokes and you don't even laugh and it makes me nervous, man. I start sweating. I feel like a failure. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Broken Branch <laughs> says, uh, did you pass the test, Jamie? Yeah, it turns out I'm a failure. <laughs> All the way. You're like <laughs> past the flying colors. Uh, Brad R says, uh, "Still, Blazewood Cup holder is uh, doing a great job. It is awesome, isn't it? I would have spilt. I probably would spill some by now if it wasn't for this thing. I still spill stuff, but not as bad as usual. Mm -hmm. Ninety-three. I think I have. Melissa those... Lamb says, "My husband and I mix together." So I'm going to move this for just a second, and I'm going to talk like part about a, the part B resin color separation. Right. Uh huh. This this one here is poured at 70, 75 degrees, eighty degrees, something like that. And this one here is poured at one hundred five. So this gives you a good indicator of of what's really going on. That the temperature means a ton when you're doing this stuff. Have another example too. Mm -hmm. If you're into the blue stuff, same thing. Same thing over here. Yeah, there you go. 105, 75 or 80. It's very, very, very apparent. And so that's why we do yeah. this. Stuff. Okay, back to work. Back to work, Jamie. Uh, I, I believe as well you've actually got a whole series, have you not? Or is it just one video? I have that one video. I have another video that was meant for something else, and I'm not sure if I can use it or not. And when I know if I can use it or not, then I'll put it out on my channel. Um, Peter Brown says, uh, is that a Lumilite Clear Slow? Yes, sir. Clear Slow. Clear Slow. And the only, you know, I show liquid diamonds sometimes just to show people they don't need a pressure pot and they don't need to weigh it and all that stuff. But this stuff is just... You're gonna have to weigh it, and you're gonna have to, um, you're gonna have to use a pressure pot. That's the only. It's like mandatories. So this um, stuff, this, this thing is deep, sorry. Jamie. This thing Booty. is deep. So I'm gonna put this stick down there, check our temperature. We're at 101, so I have a lot to pour. So I'm gonna go ahead and start pouring, um, and I'm gonna make it hit that stick and roll down lightly. Like if we're sitting there. And making it splash into each other, that's not going to help the color separation. I hope that makes sense. Yellow, and I'm just going to do the whole thing because we don't have time at this Yellow. point. We, we don't have time at this point to um, mess around and do half or half or half. Mm -hmm. uh, William gonna... Stevens says, uh, been married 31 years, figured out how to make the wife happy a long time ago. Hmm. Well, Did you watch Saturday morning cartoons? Did she? Yeah. Hey, you we're saving peace to watch us. We're saving mar <laughs> We're saving marriages, man. <laughs> that could be a t-shirt. <laughs> we're out of control with the t-shirts, dude. <laughs> Peter Brown says that looks like a black hole on camera. Oh. It looks like it right here, too. <laughs> There's actually a hole in the bottom of the table. <sighs> He's going to lift up the pot so and say, look, it's empty. <laughs> Suckers. <laughs> Amy says it's like pouring a separated shot of alcohols. Yeah, it's cool. This thing Joey made is... I almost don't want to, don't even want to do without it anymore. Oh, that was uh, that was Jen Stevens' husband. 
<laughs> Saving marriages. I was right. I was right. <laughs> Saving marriages one couple at a time. <laughs> Okinawa Blue, she Jim. Yanked, she yanked him into the cartoons. Uh, Melissa Lamb says, ha ha, this is better than marriage counselling. <laughs> <laughs> well, on a side note, you know what you do after a divorce, though? <laughs> Whatever the hell you want. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Uh, William Seam says was part of her encouragement to get me to come up uh oh, to come up to watch this AM. Come on, dear. We need uh we need you to get to a hundred. Call my anniversary gift. <laughs> Here we go. We're at one fourteen right now. That's pretty good stuff. Good girl, I'm just Jen. gonna this thing's not um it's not glued down to this thing, so we always have something on a live show. This is it. So I'm just going to put this down there as nice as I can. Uh, Hans is disappointed that you haven't spilled anything yet. And I just shove it down there. And I'm going to try to make it go against that side of that. The mold as best I can. Of course, it would have been better if that had stayed glued, but it didn't. So here we are. You know what I mean? Yep. It is what it is at this point. So now just pressure pot this thing. Uh, John Scarborough says, are you pouring them into the same spot uh, in the pot, Jake? There's a there's a stick. There's a stick laid against there so they don't so they don't drop into the other resin. So that what happens is it slides down that stick and then they mix together nicely to try to help out with keeping the color separated. But I did put a stick down there. So that just to help lighten the lighten the spill, I guess you'd say, or however you want to explain that. Yeah, yeah. Soften the blow. Yeah, there you go. Thanks for your help, Jamie. You're welcome. Yeah. That's what I'm here for. Yeah. Right. So now you've done that while you're uh, while you're cleaning the table. Yes, sir. I'm going to quickly run through the uh, the the playlist of today. Okay. So up first, uh, early, I mean, we had myself, then we had uh, Crafts of Ellen, then we had Kenny Cosplays on, then we had James from Autumn Mate, then we had Pete from Twisted Trees. Unfortunately, Heidi was unable to make it, so I took over from Heidi just before this show. Then I rushed frantically <laughs> to get <laughs> on to this show. Uh, so we're just finishing up right now. Then up next is going to be... Al's Hack Shack, uh, doing some cooking along with uh, Franco uh, in his ear. After for, after that show, we have Kez over at um, Spirit and Bear. Uh, after that, we have Brian Ooh. over at Hot Water Turning. Then after that, we have Scott the Blue Light Tumbler. <laughs> then we have uh, Wayne the Wood Turner. And then the, uh, the roles are reversed. We are going to be having Franco... Noche doing some cooking and Al in his ear roll. Woo, that's going to be cool. That will be. Um, and then after that, we will be having Joey Steel Blade Woodworking. Yeah. Uh, doing some uh, doing some stuff with his, uh, his evil laser. Uh, then after that, we have Scott Hampton uh, doing some wood turning. And finishing up the show uh, will be that one of my virtual uh, car festival partners in crime, Mr. Carl Jacobson. Yes, 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 yes. So we got five minutes. Who's winning this thing, man? Let me go Who's get it. Who's winning this? Yeah, who's winning who's this winning thing? Let's this? pick one of the. Pick C is Cindy still out there? Is Cindy still out there? Oh. Yeah. If Cindy's out there, pick us a winner, winner, chicken dinner. You still out there, Cindy? Cindy, he's still out there. He's still out there, Cindy. Ooh. Cindy. Ooh, look at that. Is she still out there? She's, she's a bit quiet, if she is. <laughs> so there's a... We'll get a cup. We'll pick a... Who is there? Who is... Who's going to... 
Get in there real quick. Jenny, Jen, 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 Jen. Jenny, Jen, Jen. Are you still out there? Pick us the winner, Jenny, Jen. We've got five more minutes to go. Five, five more minutes, minutes to go. go. Five more Jenny, minutes Jen, to go. Jen, 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 Jen. Pick the winner because we've got five more minutes to go. Uh, I haven't flexed yet today, have I? You don't need to do that. Okay, I'll stop. She says, uh, John Hayes. John Hayes. Send me your, hopefully still there. Send me your address. Send it on Facebook, Instagram, Carrier Pigeon, Sea Turtle, or a Duck. Right, Jamie? Mm-hmm. That's right. By golly. So. Okay. John Hayes, there he is. Uh, send me your send me your address, and I'll get that cup to you, and you might have a little bit of extra some something, something in there. Um, we tend to do that sometimes. We appreciate everybody for showing up. Thank you, guys. Um, mm-hmm. Jamie. Yeah, I'll probably uh, I'll probably see you uh, a couple uh, more times. Is, uh, yeah, yeah pr- probably. <laughs> uh, hopefully, I won't have to do any more lives. On my life, I mean, hey, we got being got the this. earworm. I mean, we got this. So, week. up next is uh, Al and Franco on uh, Al's Hack Shack on his YouTube channel. If you go to virtuallycrafty.com, uh, you can follow the running playlist of either, or failing that, you can go to the Virtual Craft Festival YouTube channel and find the playlist via that. Here we go. Okay, put my secretary glasses back on there. Jamie, oh my gosh, it's in a whole new world. Look at that. You ready? You got the end screen ready? We can tell everybody. Hey, I have a couple videos down in the description. Um, next week, we're going to have a video out. It'll be the instructional video with Jackie Jack Jack. And then um, next week, we're going to be doing it again every week for you guys. Mm-hmm. Ready, Jamie? Yep. Uh, tell, tell Jamie how good his dusty shirt looks. All right. Awkward.